All right, this is Devin from DevinPilneyPhoto.com. Remember to check out my Facebook like that or my web blog, DevinPilneyPhoto.com. This is going to be a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to create a splash page for a slideshow or PowerPoint presentation, basically showcasing your brand and being like, look, this is a product of mine. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up Photoshop. I'm going to create a new file. Now, I want this to be relatively big. And the general rule of thought here, if you go into your monitor selection, uh, I have iMac, so um, what you really want is something that's pretty large. You can always backscale it. So for, for me, what I'm going to do is 1600 by 1200 with my resolution. And then 300 pixels per inch, that's a little bit, um, that's a little bit much. That's more of a printing type uh, resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and do 72. 8-bit RGB color is fine. I always work with a transparent background and then add what I want later. So that's fine. Add a title. We'll do uh, DevinPilneyPhoto.com splash. Hit OK. So now I've got this large canvas here. Move it down to about 60% um, zoom so that I have a working canvas here. Title this BG, background layer in the bottom right. And now I'm going to apply a background. You can do this either by doing Command Delete which will give you the uh, background color, or alt delete, which will give you the foreground color, or edit, and then you can just do fill. For me, I want to work with black because I'm thinking of a black background in my slideshow. So now I've got my black background, I want to add content to it. First things first, I want to add my logo. Now I've already created a logo PNG uh, at an earlier time, so what I'm going to do is open it. It's in my documents folder, and I'm going to want to use well, let's open both my white logo and my white text logo with my URL on there and see what both of those look like. So, if you ever port in an image like this and you want to get it to your main image, which would be the DevinPilney.com splash, what you can do is if you right-click where it says Layer 0, you can duplicate layer, hit this drop-down, and then go to whatever you know photo um, format that you've opened in Photoshop and duplicate it. What that does brings it up in a new layer as we see here. I've got my nice logo. I can move it around using V or uh, my arrow key here. And I'm just going to do the same thing with this guy. Port that over. And now I've got an idea of what both of these are going to look like. Now these are both um, JPEG images so they don't do well with scaling up. As you can see the more you scale up you know the more um, you're losing data I guess. So this image right here is probably out, but I like the way that it looks, so I'm probably going to add in that .com tagline with this here. So, got to find a spot where this looks cool. I'm thinking center or so, right in about there. And then I've got a trick. I use the marquee, um, rectangular marquee tool here to always check my uh, I guess you call it evenness on both sides. So this one here, not quite there. Scooch this over a tad. Now double check it. One more over to the left, and that should be perfect. Now I don't necessarily need the top and the bottom portions to be even because I need to add some text below it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select my text tool or hit the letter T drag it open like this. Now I don't want to use 109 font, probably something a little bit smaller than that. So by hitting, here's a, here's a tip, when you're in the text tool, right up here, you can see that there's two T's. And when you scroll over it, you get this little hand pointer with two arrows coming out of the side of it. If you hold and drag out to the left or to the right, you're changing your size of your font. So that's uh, that can be really helpful. So now I'm going to add in www.devinfilmingphoto.com I want this to all be on one line, so I'm just grab the elbow, elongate it there, <clears throat> and I've got that. Now what I really want to do is I want to have this so that it's within the, I guess you call it, confines of the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using guides. Now if you don't have your rulers tog toggled on, it's Command R, that toggles your rulers on. Now if you ever want to add a, a little, um, oops. if you ever add, want to add a guide to it, you click on the ruler, drag it out, it'll actually snap once you start setting them up to your objects like that. And this helps for really laying out an image and making sure that everything's working okay and you're working within you know, uh, proportion, proportional measures or however you want to think of it. 
So I'm going to start by separating Devin Pilney photo from the www and the .com. And that should allow for me to find a way to squeeze it in. So I've got this here. Now what I'm thinking is I can layer this by all caps it. Take this down another few points. Right there. Now if I all caps it, I can layer this with a .com and www either on top or on bottom. So let's take a look at what it's going to look like. And always you're going to want to, if you do a style like this, definitely make www and the .com smaller so it's not taking away from the main point of the image, which would obviously be the URL itself. I'm going to need another ruler in here to measure the actual text. And it doesn't look like it's quite there. There we go. Add like a little one pixel difference there. And do the same down here. Dot com. Boom. Now, if you ever want to toggle these guides off, what you have to do is hold Command and then the uh, the colon key, and that does that. So that's looking pretty good. I'm thinking that maybe the www and the .com could use a little bit more pad <coughs> padding from uh, from the physical URL, and that looks definitely definitely better. Now, what I'm going to want to do here is add the event title. So for me, I'm doing a slideshow here, um, and I want this to be events of 2011. So now I need to add in a title, and what I'm going to do there is I think, you know, you can either add it in the slideshow program, and I recommend Photo Magico. It's kind of expensive, a hundred something bucks, but it's it works really, really well. And if you go to my Facebook page and you take a look at the Derby Days Ice White Party, that slideshow was made with the Photo Magico. I don't have it on my YouTube channel, so I should get on that. But, uh, but yeah, I think I'm actually going to add the event title in there. Um, just because I can match the font and then I can use this splash for other things. But that's basically how you go ahead and make a splash. What I'm going to do to finish this off now, I'm just going to go ahead and go File, Save As, and I've got a specific spot where I put this stuff, Clients, and then Devin Pilney Photo, and we'll call this a new folder, we'll call this Splash, and I'm going to save this as both a Photoshop document so that I can come in and re-edit it if I need to add content. Then go right back into it, go down to JPEG, and I save it as a JPEG, and this is so that I can use it, you know, full maximum quality, obviously, in my slideshow. And there you have it. That's how you make a splash.